Well, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for staying with us here at CNN News 18. I'm Rhythma Bhatnagar, getting you all the top stories over the next 60 minutes. We're beginning this broadcast with some breaking developments now coming in. Now we are understanding the CID has also filed a petition seeking a one-week custody of former Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu. Remember, he was already sent to a 14-day judicial custody, which will be till the 23rd of September. Yesterday, what we were picking up by the means of sources from his legal team also is that they will approach the High Court. But as of now, we are understanding the CID has also now filed a petition seeking seven days custody of the former Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu. Even as we are seeing multiple protests break out, remember, as I pointed a short while ago, that he was already sent to a 14-day judicial custody, which is going to be on till the 23rd of September. Remember, the charges have been filed under the IPC. And as I pointed out, politically speaking, we have been seeing the TDP also up in arms. We've been seeing their workers protest. There is an Andhra Band call that has been called by the TDP as well. All of this in the backdrop of the skill development case. Let's try and get more details. Our colleague Swastika is now joining us on the broadcast. Swastika, good afternoon. Before we talk about the political ramifications, the call for an Andhra Band that is being called as far as the TDP is concerned, help us understand what are you picking up as far as the plan of the CID is concerned. Well, uh, Ridhima, the CID has filed a petition seeking uh, custody of Mr. Naidu to question him further and we are given to understand that uh, they want uh, to interrogate Mr. Naidu for over a week and that's why they have filed a petition in the uh, court itself, in the same court itself. Uh, that is a key development as far as the investigation from the CID side is concerned. And let's go through the allegations that have been levelled against them. In the remand report, they have said that though Mr. Naidu, uh, all of 73 years old now, is uh, labelled as the key conspirator of the skill development scam in which he's been accused of siphoning off public funds to the tune of 279 crores. The entire scam is about 371 crores. Mr. Naidu is accused of, uh, of uh, plundering uh, public money and sending it to shell companies and then routing it to uh, private companies here, two of them, in a bid to develop or under the garb or under the guise of uh, developing skill development centers. Uh, the timing of the case is something which is crucial because the dateline uh, goes back to when Mr. Naidu was the chief minister of the state uh, from 2014. The entire scam as per the CID came to light in uh, 2015 as well and the CID says it has firmly said that it has enough evidence uh, against Mr. Naidu and that's why to understand the entire trail of money, uh, how the entire conspiracy uh, went about, they want uh, a, a special interrogation to be done with Mr. Naidu. That is one aspect. The other aspect is, in fact, uh, before Mr. Naidu was taken to the ACB court, uh, the CID did manage to grill him for over 10 hours in which Mr. Naidu's constant okay. response was, this is a clear-cut case of political vendetta and that they have no evidence against him and that this is a case of being framed to implicate him by Jagan Mohan Reddy's government. Okay, Swastika, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Keep a close eye on all those developments for us.